Okay, today at Fraser Motor Car Company, we are reviewing an August 73 production MGB. So in some uh, states, this would, could actually be a 74 car. August was the turning month for the next year. Uh, we have a 73 title, and it's an August 73 production, so we will call it a 73. Early 74s had the same configuration on the bumpers. All right, nice little car, um, not a rusty piece. Uh, body gaps are good. Chrome is real good. The gentleman had done some suspension work, so it drives nice. It's tight. You can see it sits really nice. Doesn't sag in the back, front ends up. That's a handsome car. Chrome is good everywhere, the lenses are good, the paint is good, run and drive is fantastic. Strong oil pressure, strong compression. Speaking of compression, when we got the car in, um, it had one cylinder that was down over the others, uh, so we had a, a valve job done, just had a head, uh, head work done on the car, so it's fresh, so the oil pressure is really good, starts really easy and sounds good drives very good all right let's start again at the front uh, lenses are good we're putting it up on the lift you're gonna see the same thing on the lift how nice the grill is come here at the base of the windshield frame the frame itself is clean and nice not scarred up and this rubber is not cracked doesn't have silicone in the corners like a lot of them uh, this is a, cr pr a place prone to cracking because we pull the, to shut the doors, we pull this um, wing window and it goes on down and it cracks here. So a lot of MGBs you look at, they'll be cracked right there. These side moldings, uh, clean, straight. Look at that, just perfect actually. I don't see a single ding on any of them. I'm anxious to start it for you, so I'm going to do that right now. It just sounds so good. Make sure I don't have it in gear. Now if we can just find a key, it's in it. All right. There it is. Look at the oil pressure. Idle's perfect. There was no smoke on startup. Shuts right down. Good compression, that's why. Uh, no cracks on the dash. Rear view mirror's not clogged up or full of glue. Sun visors are good. Door cards are good. Entries are good. Look at that, it's been rust proofed. Z bar, that's probably why it's not rusty. Clean. All this entry rubber is good. Seals are good. Trunk sits good. It's not propped up on one side from somebody forcing it down. It's a typical MGB thing. Rear chrome is good. Just a really nice little car. Body side moldings are good. Again, no cracking in the door here either. Frame is good, seal is good. Carpets are nice. Door jams are clean. All right. So we're gonna go for a driving video. Ready to go. All right, here we are with the soft top on the MGB. It's in good order. Well, that car sits nice, golly. 
It's the way it should. All right, nice soft top. No tears, no pinches. Back windows clean, clear. Hanson B. Here we are at eye level. Uh, we can see how crisp the lenses are. Grill's in great condition. So is the bumper. Front valance is straight. Nice. Come around to the sides. The wheels are in good shape. We have deep tread tires. Michelin tires. It's a rust prone area. It's not obviously. <clears throat> Gaps are perfect. Rocker panel is clean and perfect. It's a rust prone area. Um, this is a rust prone area. They have a tendency to catch mud and debris and this all gets rusted. This, this is a box. See how good the gaps are on the door. Uh, original factory spot welds here, if you can see them. I don't think you can. Spot, 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 spot. I always look for those on MGBs because this is just a lip and they have a tendency to catch mud and dirt and grime and salt and this all rust. So a lot of times MGBs, this would be all bondoed up. But I can run my finger, I'm just feeling all the spot welds all the way up and around. Great. Yeah, I'm not bondoed up at all. See the uh, door fits flush against the tub, that's nice. Chrome is good. Bumperettes are good. Bumper is straight. Gap here is good on the deck lid. Uh, if they've ever been hit from the rear and it's real hard to get them back to be exact even, and this one is. Good seam. Good wheel again. Spot welds over here too. Hopefully they show up in this video. If not, you'll just have to believe me. Um, good, again, door is flush against the tub. Good seams. Good gaps. Actually, perfect gaps. All right. Nice, all the way. All right, we're on the underside of the MGB. It looks pretty solid. So far, I've not seen any indication of rust. This is a rust prone area here and it's solid, still has the original MG undercoating here. All these drain holes are open. Drain holes are open. Jack point is solid. Oh, here's a touch, a, a touch of rust right here. Not bad, this is a pretty rust prone area. Let's check the other side. And this side is good and solid. Good jack point. Again, drain holes are open. Floorboards are original and they're solid. Solid. Nice exhaust. Brand new. They've replaced the rear leaf springs with the upgraded bushings. Stainless steel exhaust. So pretty nice. I certainly would not be intimidated by this. Um, it's a pretty easy sealing, or you could seal it up. Uh, but considering this was all original, pretty darn good shape. Yeah, you know, this exhaust is new all the way up to the front. Uh, they've got new uh, springs here. We've got new brake hoses. I noticed that all the bushings in here are replaced. That's a real vulnerable spot for MGBs and not a, ch 
not a cheap fix. Tires are deep and tread. So for the most part, she looks pretty good. This is new. Oh, this is new. Yeah, it looks pretty good under here, actually. Even the battery boxes are still in place. Now look at that, the shocks are new. Nice.